President Trump doubling down on his push to reopen schools. I think you should absolutely open the schools. Our country's got to get back, and it's got to get back as soon as possible. And I don't consider our country coming back if the schools are closed. Currently, 48 states and D.C. have ordered or recommended school closures for the rest of the academic year, affecting more than 55 million students. So how do we safely reopen our schools? Joining us with her take is parenting and education expert Dr. Karen Aranian. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Ainsley. You're welcome. So what are you, what's your suggestion? Do you think we'll be reopening in the fall? We're hoping to open in the fall. Um, we have different situations happening in different states based on different cases and different circumstances. So how do we do that safely? Well, it would be a very good uh, plan if everyone was working in harmony and we have a perhaps White House task force that could funnel information down to the states that is received in the districts and we move forward with assurance. That's not a bad idea. We had the task force that were focusing on beds and focusing on medicine. Then it moved to vaccines and reopening. And I think that would be an excellent idea to have a task force on education because as parents were all concerned. What do you make of this outbreak, especially in New York City? More than 80 children in New York City have have gotten this uh, coronavirus inflammatory syndrome. Knowing that information, we just don't know a lot about that disease. And uh, I think one child has died uh, as a result of this in New York, according to an article that I was reading yesterday. So how do we safely send our kids back to school when we are worried about this now? Yes, it's definitely a hyper concern for parents and for our country, the world. Um, as we come into fall, that is a certain consideration, as is the summertime, if we're going to implement summer school. Mm -hmm. So with those young children, in addition to our older population, we must be vigilant, we must be careful. I know you mentioned the task force on education, and I was saying that's a great idea. How would we go about doing that? Who would you want to see on that task force? On that task force, it would be important to have all stakeholders. Certainly, we want to have our education professionals. We want to have parents at the table. We want to have unions at the table. And we want to have White House, Department of Education. We want to have um, our public health commissioners. And we want to have everyone having a seat at the table. How do you recommend we uh, talk to our children about this? I think when a child should ask you a question, you want to answer in a brief way where you're giving them information, but not overdoing the information. And obviously doing it in a calm manner and always with positivity. Positivity mm -hmm. first, right? And we all feel that way. We're going to pull up our socks and we're going to get back to school. All right, Dr. Aronian, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Pleasure.